Opening day certainly was a highlight. Um, anytime you're launching a franchise, obviously it's, it's going to be a special occasion, but uh, I think that first game at Empire just exceeded everyone's expectations. Um, the atmosphere was, was electric, it was perfect weather, and of course to play Toronto and to get a 4-2 win. Uh, Terry Dunfield, the hometown boy, jumping into the stands, you couldn't have uh, asked for anything more. It was just a, a great way to relaunch uh, top-tier soccer in this market after, after three decades. Um, and really the first three home games were, were all outstanding. Um, even though they, they only won the first one, the, the comeback against Kansas City, Camilo scoring twice in injury time, you might never see that again in the history of the franchise. And uh, battling New England to a tie down, down to nine men was also pretty special. So when, when you look back at the year, really the first three games at home uh, stand out as, as the most exciting ones of the year. And unfortunately, that, that kind of speaks to how the rest of the season went. No shortage of things already to look for uh, in 2012. I think with the announcement that uh, of Martin Rennie as the new head coach um, in August and him arriving in November and really quickly putting a stamp on this team. Uh, he's come and he's changed a lot of personnel already. He's been uh, an, in an incredibly positive influence. Uh, guys already um, have been really impressed with, with his communication and, and just his general positivity. I think uh, there's a lot to look forward to on, on the coaching front and. Um, on the personnel front in, in 2012 and the signing of, uh, of Lee Young-pyo, uh, the South Korean international. Um, we've already seen how big a deal he is in the Korean community here. A huge turnout in Coquitlam for him when he arrived. A huge turnout uh, media-wise uh, in terms of the South Korean media when he arrived in Vancouver. I think um, it's going to be really interesting and exciting to see how many fans uh, he can bring out himself in. And the club's already said that he will not be the last big name and not the biggest name perhaps they sign uh, this offseason. So uh, I think fans have a lot to look forward to. Uh, you know, this team knew they could probably get by in year one without, uh, without results, just on the, on the novelty of, of having soccer back in the city. But they're under no illusions that uh, people are going to keep showing up if they keep losing uh, as regularly as they have. So. Um, I expect uh, a much more competitive team on the field, and uh, I think um, you know Martin Rennie is is a guy who uh, is going to turn this team or has the potential to turn this team around very quickly.